Kaboom, the voice of the blockchain, Satoshi's big cousin, crypto's finest champagne crypto. Thank you for tuning in. Good morning to all the kapumpers out there, the worldwide crypto maniac, blockchain boomers out there. I got another one for you. I'm doing research here on Alpha Finance. This is a uh, cross-chain uh, yield optimizer that's based on ETH, but they're also swinging the Binance. I'm going to test it out. I want you guys to do your research as I am as well. Let's get straight to it. Alpha Finance Lab is an ecosystem of DeFi products that will interoperate to maximize return while minimizing risk for users. Alpha products focus on capturing unaddressed demand in DeFi in an innovative and user-friendly way. So if you launch app, you can go ahead and check out uh, the website, but you can launch the Alpha Homora app which is on Ethereum, a protocol for leveraging your position in yield farming pool. ETH lenders can earn high interest on ETH and yield farmers can get even higher farming APY. So you go ahead and launch the DAP and uh, you can see it has sections here, the alpha, the farm and the earn. Uh, I was here on the earn section, earn on ETH. And right now their uh, current ETH APY is 10%. Let me click on this ad real quick. Kaboom. And there it is. So that's 10% uh, that they're offering. This is variable and it changed. I've seen it go high. I've seen it go, go low. Uh, yesterday, I talked about Beefy and, and some of the APYs that they're offering on ETH over there on the Binance uh, Smart Chain up to 30%. Uh, what I'm liking about Alpha is that this is on the Ethereum mainnet. So you don't have to bridge over your ETH onto Binance in order to stake it. Uh, granted, you know the APY is a lot less. But I'm thinking of staking here uh, or, you know, trying to earn on my ETH by, I guess it's lending or staking. Uh, my understanding here is that this is an audited contract. Okay, if you go into uh, the doc right here, you could read a little bit more about what, uh, you know, about getting started. What is Alpha Homora or Homera? I'm not sure how to pronounce it, but uh, you could uh, read more. And I believe that this is an audited contract. Okay, so, um, you know, do your research. I'm going to take a stab at it and uh, see how it, it works. Uh, you can see where the APY comes from each pool. Uh, how can Alpha Homora achieve higher APY? Leverage yield farming pools for leverage yield farming pools. Uh, the APY comes from yield farming, APY on leverage, trading APY on leverage. Alpha Homora will automatically reinvest the farm ter tokens for leverage yield farms. Uh, all of the APY earned will be accrued to the position value. Additionally, as a part of our liquidity mining, all the leverage positions of more than 1x will also get alpha on top. And you can see the alpha token is actually uh, booming too. Look at the, the price over here on CoinGecko. It's up another almost 30% 30 30 against ETH in the past 24 hours. This thing is ripping. And again, this is cross-chain. Uh, this is a... Uh, a product that I believe is associated with the Binance launch pool. And uh, this Homora app is on the Ether main chain. So you can see some of the pools. Uh, this is still brand new to me. So I'm learning and, you know, I'm reading as I go. I'm, I'm you know, I'm learning, but I can see that the world of DeFi is just exploding. Uh, you know, things are growing. You can obviously see ETH growing and don't sleep on the Binance smart chain, which is the sister chain to Ethereum. And they have like, uh, they got a whole ecosystem that they're building. The fees are lower, and I see uh, a lot more growth happening there than even maybe on ETH. And ETH is growing at a, at a rate like no other. So uh, do your research, drop your comments, your questions, and more. I, I think I'm going to throw two ETH at this, okay, and just stake it out and see, uh, you know, how the APY handles over here, how it shakes and bakes. So uh, l let me try it, actually. Let me go ahead and deposit ETH. Let's see what the, the gas fees are here. So if I deposit two ETH, I get one IBETH. So this is basically the ETH placeholder. Uh, and then you could sell it back. Uh, so let's say if, uh, you know, if I got 1.94, if I sold it back, I think it's the same exact thing. You get exactly, there's no impermanent loss. Yeah, so you get back the ETH, 1.94 and change. So yeah, so what I'm going to do is, uh, yeah, I'm strongly considering, you know, staking an ETH or two here. And seeing how it you know goes, maybe I should throw one ETH first. You know the gas fees are a while. Let me see if I convert 1.031. Okay. And convert gas fee. It's about 17 bucks. It's about right. What if I did uh, two ETH? 
Would it be about the same? Even less. So you make, you know, begs the question, you know. Uh, do you want to try it out with one ETH? If it works, then you try it out with another ETH and you get clapped up with double the fees or do you just go ahead and make your move? Uh, and this is the thing with ETH. You know, the high gas fees kind of prevent uh, smaller moves. It, it prevents the uh, the minnows from limping in. So this is more of a whale's platform, more of a dolphin's platform. So if you want to go in, you don't want to limp in with a quarter ETH uh, or limp in with one ETH and then say, oh, I'm going to do another one. Uh, you know, and then you end up getting paying twice the gas fees. So, um, you know, I'm strongly considering maybe the thing is, you know, you drop in two ETH, you pay eleven dollars in gas fees. You got to stake for for some time to make your money back. So I'm going to do the calculation before I I uh, actually pledge, but uh, I'm strongly considering this. And if I do, uh, I'll let you know. Uh, I dropped a video yesterday about beefy finance over there on Binance as well, and they're offering even higher APYs. But you need to bridge over to use that. Uh, application which is a little bit more complicated i do it using the binance uh, uh chrome wallet uh you could do it there but um you know again that's one extra step so you know something to consider i want you guys to do the research here i want to drop the links this is nothing referral based or nothing i'm just doing more and more research on these yield optimizers and these different DeFi platforms uh on both binance and ether and others and, and let's see which one really pops off but you know check out the pools check out the status you can uh, vote on uh, what's going on over there. Uh, pool rewards, pending reinvestments. This is something I haven't figured out. There's bounty hunting here and there's uh, liquidations. There's a lot of stuff that I haven't really, you know, wrapped my mind around. There's a lot to read, but the doc seems thorough. So, uh, you know, do your research and see what's uh, going on and drop a comment. But I like Alpha. The price looks good and you could farm, you could uh, earn ETH. You could, uh, you know, there seems to be a, a lot offered here so drop a comment let me know what's shaking and baking i'm gonna put a pause on uh depositing eth here because i'm i'm honestly really considering you know moving the eth onto uh the other the binance smart chain and doing it on beefy um you know that that's something to consider but i'll keep you guys uh informed and uh updated but you know let me know if you jump into this uh it certainly seems very attractive and uh, I'll keep you guys updated. It's the voice of the blockchain, Satoshi's big cousin, crypto's finest champion crypto. Thank you for tuning in.